All right, there. You shall all make your key here. Take me back to our current run of humankind, where we're in the industrial era. With... Mexicans! Indeed. Um, for some reason it's not showing I completed it. But I completed Dia de los Muertos uh, a long time ago. Uh, it's not showing it's completed now for some reason, but I have... Catalina, or Catalina, whatever they call her, from there, with a skull, sugar skull. <laughs> At least I think that's how I got her. Alright, so. We're building up over here. We need to claim a wonder. And we have two to choose from. Statue of Liberty. The torch held high above her head and broken shackles at her feet. The robe Roman goddess commemorates freedom. Plus 20 stability on empire, plus 10 gold per number of territories in your sphere of influence. Nice. Plus 10 science per number of territories. Very nice. Must be placed in coastal water, which we have that. Eiffel Tower. Symbolising an era of industry and science, the Eiffel Tower showcases the dazzling meeting of arts and sciences. Arts and engineering, sorry. Plus 20 stability, plus 10 industry per adjacent research quarter. Plus 1 industry per population on all cities. Nice. I actually like both of them. Can be built once in the world. Does not require being connected to a main plaza or administrative centre. Once a shared project... Uh, we're going to go, I like that, but I'm going to go Statue of Liberty. The French statue now in New York Harbour. On, not Ellis Island, I forget what the statue's island is called. Uh, right. Not you. Kucha. Alright, so... And we're still promoting our units as well. And we need to add extra units. Alright, so where are we? Uh, no, it's Kutcha, not the, not the military I want. Currently 65 turns. Not going to stay like that though, is it? Bring Brussels on. 36. Bring Babylon on. 23. Bring Assur on. Seventeen. Bring Hatsusar on! Thirteen. Bring Tief, uh, Tiang on. Twelve. And bring Hansen on. Come on. 11. There we go, 11 turns. Back to promoting. Oh, we haven't got Roma on yet. On. 10 turns.
got rich intel collected. You over there. Of nobles and their duty. Just as the Empire's population has grown, so has the aristocratic classes. As they consolidate themselves into influential houses, now is the time to decide whether their power should be endorsed. But it should be shattered. Aristocracy, oligarchy or democratic republic. The Empire's best interests are served by an, a concentration of political power. Plus 20% gold per grievance. Uh, okay. I think we're going to go democratic. We did oligarchy, we're moving towards uh, authority. But as we're doing this, it's staying where it is at liberty. Political parties of many stripes compete for the backing of the With people. So many cultures and traditions. It takes a lot of voices to properly represent the will of the people. Indeed. Ma, again. the halberdiers. They are 2800, about 1100. A separation of powers. Religious community participation has been waning for years as the Empire's cultural strength grows, and now is the right time to remove religious authority from political power. Should religion solely become a matter of personal faith, though, or does it still have a part to play in civic society? They can go secularism or state atheism. The function of government are separated from religious institutions. Lose the ability to enforce state religion, build new holy sites or pick tenets, which we've completed anyway, I think. I have got four in it yet. Become immune to religious grievances. Or, state atheism, we oppose religious uh, institutional power in all aspects of public and political life. Minus 75% foreign religion strength bonus, plus 25% faith on territories if territories following your, faith, uh, your state religion. Replace current state religion with atheism. Lose the ability to build holy sites. Or pick tenets. I don't know if we've uh, got our fourth tenant yet. Yes, we do. In which case, we can enact this. Uh, all religious civics are locked. Some invested influence has reimbursed. Let's go atheism. It certainly has the advantage of clarity. You are moving up in the world. 
securing your place in history. Keep hey, we're in first ahead, place. Regardless of the roadblocks. Into a kush. That's nothing for me. Just stick one there. We got that one claimed. <laughs> Obligations of the state. The rights of the people are now enshrined in the fundamental principles of your government, but the matter of who exactly constitutes the people is still to be addressed. Are all or only some to be considered citizens? Universal citizenship. Everyone is entitled to become full citizen of the empire. Increases stability, useful. Or select citizenship. Citizenship is conditional, not to be given to any wanderer within our border. Now ah, everyone it can be a citizen. Logical that citizenship starts with where you live and pay taxes. If only they'd put a fraction of the effort into naming the thing. Could have been worse, though. I hear Big Keith was a close <laughs> second. I guess Big Ben's been claimed. That's fine. The Combine! The inhabitants of Kutcher are tired of the perennial chaos that comes with the lack of official city administrator. Daily life is difficult and without clear leadership. The city's economy is not growing as well as it could be. As a result, its citizens have taken matters into their own hands and have formed a number of organisational committees in many matters. Agricultural to finance. Do you wish to step in? Plus one city cap? I don't think I need that. It must stop. An administrator will be appointed. No. Uh, we'll see how they get by without an administrator. Self-governance. There you go. Right. Meanwhile, I think Kutcher... They're not combined. Sit oh, yeah, look there. Okay. I could absorb Asur. I could absorb Brussels. Absorb Roma. That frees up a city for us. And we still are converting uh, to better troops. They're all done apart from the horses. They're all done apart from the horses. They're all done apart from one set of the horses. So the mainland's good. Military coordination researched. 
ranks and orders turn to a chaotic horde in a coordinated and impressive war machine. Oh, turn a chaotic horde into a... Duh. <laughs> Helps if you read it right, Yorkie. And scientific method, nationhood, line formation, improves our infantry, but we're not in a position to do that right now. Let's go scientific method. Uh, 20, 28, 20, so not yet. Let's have a look what we are voting on with civics. Goons, hmm, an itchy eyeball. Uh, now, there. Actually, no, I want you to go over this way. So I want that oil. The first to map the continent. Others will be after your boot designs and blister medicines. Okay, it's still poached. Covered Himalayas. That chansung. Two more turns to get that. Yeah, fine. I don't really care. Pestilent pastures. Some terrible affliction blights the livestock of a creature, causing the animals to foam at the mouth, attack each other, collapse, and soon perish. Whatever this disease may be, it spreads like wildfire. There is growing inevitability that this plague will reach other settlements, and thus imperil food stocks across the land. Worse, there are scattered reports of people all falling prey to the frightful new ailment, 
We must decide how best to stem this pestilent tide while we still can. Control. Order the isolation of all animals with symptoms. This may beat back the disease without cause or impact. Or it may merely delay spread. Use science. Do I really want that? Or eliminate. Enlist men to call every animal that has been near an infected one. The losses will be terrible, but it will hopefully end this plague. We will do that. Actually, no, we will stick with our... Uh... We're moving towards enlightenment, aren't we? We'll do that. We'll eliminate it. It's a disease. It's a disease. It's one of those moments that make you feel like a small thing on a First wondrous of a monument valley. Our partnership has been a convenience. But I have grander ambitions. Absolutely despicable! No, we're not doing that. You're teasing me, huh? The answer's no. I suppose I can waive this one. Go about your way. Most gracious thanks. You're teasing me, huh? The answer's no. I suppose I can waive this one. Go about your way. Most gracious thanks. Okay. Sir, this time I'll spare you my wrath. You have but one chance to see. Yeah, we know that we've drawn their demands, basically. Damn it! Got the oil. Uh, there is more oil up there, but that's out of the way. There's more uh, oil, too. You buggers. Okay. Let's come down here. The Statue of Liberty is a towering symbol of unity and inclusion, and was a most generous gift. I want to get uh, some armies in.
scientific method researched. This distills thousands of years of speculation on how to discover natural truths into an instrument of razor-sharp precision. Turns to get that. And I see. Another musketeer, actually, maybe. Maybe a howitzer. Of the Haciendas. Nationhood. What kind of troops are they packing? Masai Marans, Albadiers, and Great Swordsmen. They're not very strong, actually. Are we allied to them? Have you come to shame yourself once more? No, we're not. Ah. Twelve military stars. Well, there's someone who likes to get out and see the world. Nice military star. Vassals, yeah. Persians have declared war on us. 
If you seek the greater good, then I hold no grudge. Right. We're now officially at war with the Persians. Not sure that was a good move on their part, but Greetings. you know. My door is I hold Greetings. My door is always open to talk. If we cannot see eye to eye, then only conflict remains! Do you not realize... Babylon... We don't have enough gunpowder. All right, so we will pick that up next time. I wondered when they were going to go stupid. <clears throat> uh, first of all, before we do finish this time, though, let's get... Oh. Do we not have gunpowder? Yeah, we do. We've only got two of them, though. Ah. Alright, does anyone else have gunpowder? We do. Are doing good. Are doing good. And all our cities are over here are now producing what we need them to produce. Meanwhile, Anxiang. Right, I think we're set there for now. I'm 
Zorb would be 20.6, uh, 20.8. Zorb Hatusa would be 20.8. Zorb Hatusa for 18.9 or Kucha 28.5. Zorb Brussels 17.4, 28 for Kucha. Babylon for 17.9 or Kucha 28. Well now. Well now. We're at war. Join us next time when we see how that war goes. Bye now.